A search and rescue team is looking for volunteers ready to be vital members. That team is hosting a mock search event this evening to show you how potentially you can respond if somebody turns up missing. Nine on your sides, Allie Kramer is live. And all right, Allie, you said that you're going to show up how they're going to set up this mock search now. Hey, good morning, Catherine. This is so interesting out here. First, I want to show you where we are outside right here at the Campbell County Fire Training Facility. This is their newer um, you know, command post, and this is a donation that they got from a, an old department in Indiana about a year ago, and they revamped it. They, they changed everything inside. It took about three months to do so, and we're going to show you inside because this is sort of, you know, the headquarters, the brain center of uh, what they're doing, and this is really interesting. So they've got all their equipment in here, all the walkies that they kind of tune in, and these walkies have GPS technology. So if I'm a searcher, I take the walkie and I hit the, uh, the trails wherever we're kind of looking, and as you come on board here these are actually gps tracks so they can see exactly where you're going and where you're searching and what areas might not have been hit so we took one out this morning drove around a little bit and you can see these black lines this is exactly the area that they've searched so they can really map out exactly what they've covered what's so interesting this morning also is how they train their volunteers. They've got about two dozen members on the team and we showed you Fred a little bit ago. He's a dummy uh, that they'll place in the woods somewhere or somewhere where they'll search for him. And this morning I'm joined by Scott Schwarberg. Talk to me a little bit about how this training will go on this evening. Well, first of all, we'll have our team. Um, we'll put place the dummy out in the woods mm -hmm. and then we'll send out the alert to our team. They'll respond and just as an ordinary what they would normally do. Mm -hmm. Once they get on scene, we'll assign them teams, usually about three to four people, and then we'll assign them areas to search. Um, when they go out to search, uh, typically on a search, we've interviewed the family of the person mm -hmm. missing or lost, and we found out different things about them, and we look for clues. Uh, for instance, if we talk to the family and they say, well, you know what, he always has Tootsie Rolls in his pocket, he loves Tootsie Rolls, mm -hmm. When our searchers are out there and they find Tootsie Roll wrappers on the ground, that's a clue that maybe that person has been there. Um, and what we do is once we get all those clues and we continue on, we just do a grid search, search different areas okay. until we locate the individual. All right, so we're going to hang out here in the command post for a little while this morning. We'll be heading over to Facebook Live to show you a little bit more of the work that they do. If you want to be involved, they're always looking for volunteers. You do not have to be a first responder or have any previous training experience. You can come out to the Campbell County Fire Training Center in Highland Heights at 7 o'clock tonight to uh, see a little more of that training and to get involved. Reporting live this morning, Allie Kramer, back to you.